with a repeater on it. So now, like before, it's been sent into two places. It's been sent into the, into the torch and into the repeater. And that, <coughs> woo, that comes up like that. And you can have that like that. That like that. Alright, so now we have this little thing and this the all these pistons which will be along how along here will be connected to one of these outputs. So then, so we've got that now. And we can stack that since we need it every actually it's best not, we might interfere with the pistons, so I'll just quickly build this, I might have cut this out and if I don't I'm sorry, but you just have to watch me building it by hand. It shouldn't take too long really. Oop, dodgy mouse. Okay, same thing along here. I can never tell whether it's best just to build it all by hand, like one block at a time, or to do what I'm doing here and like build all along, then go and back and delete blocks. <coughs> Whoa, major voice crackling at the moment. I apologise. Maybe my voice is breaking. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. Redstoneify all of these like that, like that, like that, and we can place in. Oh no, silly things! Placing all of these first, and that gives us a nice little marker for where to place our next ones on the end of all of these. Yeah. Parkour, epicness. And there we go. Wow, this ma this mouse is so sensitive. It's unbelievable. But I love it. It's such an awesome mouse. God knows how many buttons it's got. Okay, so now we've got that. We can. I uh, will stack these pistons since they're not powered. Ah, yeah, I remember now. Pistons are only derpy when being stacked if they are powered. Something to watch out for in the future of stacking pistons. Stack seven. All right then. So we have our second XNAR. So this is another version of the XNAR. Um, the reason why we build it in two separate like variations is because on this one we need to extract and from it, which is what these pistons here are for. Those ones. But in this one we don't need to extract and because it's a second half adder. There's no like carry being generated in these ones. So yeah, that's that. This is probably going to be the most in-depth explanation of an adder ever. Anyway, let's carry on. And I've realised that. Oh no, that's okay. That should be okay like that. Um, now I'm always really stupid here, and I never quite know where how to do this. Okay, so now we've got this. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five. We've got eight, so we've got eight there. But what you need to do is come right to the end and destroy, delete, whatever, delete that one, and just leave that like that. Because this is our, this will be the overflow. This will be the ninth bit. And come back to this end, and we need to build one more in here. Then this will be our first bit. Bit confusing, but you know, life's a bitch. Alright, and now I will tell you why this is. Like all other uh, uncompact or compact adders, uh, your adder needs a carry in, an initial carry in. You've got your inputs, but it also has one more input, and that is the carry in of the first bit and it has no input being coming from here it just serves as this second here and this is turning both of them off because it's going down there as well but yeah so this is our let me just show you what would really happen not like that okay so this is what would really happen entering your carry in we'll just turn this off uh, actually when these are connected to these it will actually turn it on but yeah you know so yeah, when you just do that, that just affects the first bit. So that's what your carry-in is. It acts as like your 
other input really like your third input to the first bit and all over here so now we've got eight again eight pistons and this is your carry out and this will power on well at the moment it's on already because these pistons are connected but yeah this will power on when 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 two um when these two are on or like any other thing totals more than 255 because that is what 8 bits can ha uh, can handle okay so we're almost there we're almost there getting through this now right so now every single one of these needs to be connected to the one to the right so that requires some fancy like connectivity like this proper english is famous for doing all this fancy wiring very nicely you should check him out and also because he's the admin of the server i built on very cool guy now these these need to be all the way down here because um, these need to be extended before you could use like a bird and place a fence there or something and have this back one because that would still sort it but yes actually actually that might work i'm not sure i can't remember well forgetting how pistons work not good not good alright so the first one can be connected back like that i think and now hmm no that's not good if we place that there everything will happen everything hmm let's think let's take a pause to think okay then i had a quick think and i have figured out how to do this um woo voice again woo calm down anyway uh, it's easier if you don't try and cram it all in here because you'll end up interfering with this piston and this piston this redstone and everything will go down okay so we can just go like that really it's easier than messing everything else up and then on this one go back to that so now we have an alternating pattern like before which works nicely And finalement. Wow, check me with the French. I don't even know if that's right. So bad at French. Okay, so now all of these are off. Except this last one. Which doesn't need to be inverted because I'm a silly fool. Alright, so there we go. So that's off at the moment. That's our overflow. Let's label it. Because we like labeling things, don't we? Alright, so that's the overflow. and that can be used as a condition for our comparator or not for our comparator as a, for our conditional branching so yes if there isn't so we could have something like if the ALU overflows stop everything or something along those lines okay then so now this works this is our full working adder nice and compact I think it's like 10 blocks long maybe 13 1 2 uh, let's not include the inputs 1 2 3 4 Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, eleven blocks long. That's cool. Hope this ALU won't be more than twenty, although that is quite difficult. My best is about sixteen or fifteen, I think. And I'm not showing you my best because that's mine. So yeah, uh, this is a full working adder now, and I can give you a few explanations of why this works. Alright, so let's just give a one. So one goes through the first XNR and turns it off because the inputs are different goes through here and then comes through here and since this is a second XNR there is still been, there's still one input which is the input from the carry line so this input is still on and this input is now off so you've got different inputs on the second XNR and we have a one coming through and as you can see here this piston has retracted so if something like this happened we have now have a one coming through and we have another one coming through this piston allows the input through but these still these are still off because the in, the uh, outputs of the half adders here are making the pistons extend so that still can't go through here but now we have one input coming through there and that means that this turns on and this turns off because this is that also turning off here turning off this 
Okay, so we have 1 and 1, and that equals 2. Actually, let's just explain that this is in binary. So, label them. These will have to be destroyed, but for use now, it is probably worth it. 1, 2, 4, 8. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to go right back to the basics in this uh, in this tutorial. I expect that you know what most what a logic gate is, and that you know binary, <laughs> and you hopefully know some of the inner workings of a computer. So yes, that's this labelled in binary. Um, if you wanted to be fancy, this is 256. Um, so this value represents the number 256. Let's just add it in. So that's 256 because if you add, oops, if you add all of these up, that total is 255, so that's the 256th number, or the ninth bit. So, okay, so now let's go back to our nothing being input. So we have nothing on the output. Let's do something a little bit more complex. Let's do, oh, these are all so we binary, but yeah, I'm going to bother labeling them too. So let's do two, add two, and see what we've got here. 2 add 2 is 4. Yippee! And let's see why this is working. This is working because we have two inputs coming through here, which means that this will stay on because the inputs are the same, so this is on. This means that none of the pistons here on the carry line are retracted, but. Um, uh, what's going to say? But, but, but. Oh yeah, but there is an output from the first half adder here, and this output is being generated by the AND gate I was talking to you about. So, un above this piston, there, above this block, sorry, there is a piston, and above this block there is a repeater, like that. So the repeater there is on, and it is then so, well, not that one, the same like one here. So that one is on powering this block which then powers you can't see it which then powers this redstone here and then since there's a one coming through here and um, there's nothing coming through there we have a four because the inputs are different sorry I'd said that the wrong way around since there is now wait wait oh yeah since there's now nothing is coming through here, it looks like something coming through here, but that's only because this repeater is powering it there. So now our inputs are different, so there's nothing coming through here, and the word, 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 word. What? Oh, I'm confused now. I'm confusing myself. Okay, so that was really stupid of me. I uh, I was explaining that really poorly. There is an input here, so there's an input here, and there's an input here, so the inputs are the same, meaning that the output is on, since it's an X not. Uh, you might want to ignore like the past 20 seconds of what I just said, because I was being really, really stupid. Okay, so now we have, oop, let's turn that back on, 2 add 2 add 4, and now we can demonstrate, actually now let's demonstrate the carry line. Yeah, so now we just have 2, and this means that this piston is going to allow stuff to go through, and let's also turn off the goddamn ray. Okay, whew, whew. that train it knows me. Now let's also do the same here. So now we have a 2 and a 4 coming through, which will equal 6 on our outputs. We So we've got 6 coming through, and, and oops, not there. These, uh, yeah, these pistons have retracted, so they will allow things to come through. Alright, so now we want a 1. Uh, now let's do something a bit more fancy. Let's do this. Okay. So now let's see what our output is. We've got two. Oops, what have we done here? One, two, three, four, seven. What's going on? What? 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 Oh no, wait. One add one is two. Add two is four. Add four is eight. So, why are these not powering? Have we got, uh, have we got buds? No, if we have buds. If we have buds, I think they're buds. I'll hunt you down, buds. Huh, what's going on here? 
one and a one should oh my gosh I'm so stupid this can't be glowstone because that doesn't allow the power down here ah no that's annoying okay sorry about this guys I'm gonna have to do this oh no not that ignore that you place the piston back in that piston's done nothing wrong I have to do this I wondered why I'd never used glowstone before and why that was causing me such trouble Oh wow, I've been recording for half an hour. Whoops, maybe an hour actually. Okay, so there we go. That's sorted now. Everything is sorted. Okay, so now we have our correct output. Eight. <sighs> so many mistakes. Hmm, hmm, thinking about whether I should do redo this video. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so we have one, add one, add two, add four. That equals eight, like you should do. Correct the redstone and I'll explain why this works. So, first off, our one add one generates a carry. This carry has been generated here by the repeater and by the block. So we have our redstone being powered. Now, on our next two bits, there is just one coming through. So this one comes through, comes through here, and then turns off these pistons. Since both of these are off, these pistons go up. So these are now off, so no power will come through here. But since our one add one is, is generating a carry, this is the carry here, and it has been allowed through here by these pistons, these then turn off these torches here. So this torch and this torch and this torch, I'll turn off, I'll come to this one in a minute. So, but at the moment, so these two are turned off, and that then turns off these two, meaning there's no output, which is what you want. And there's no output here either, because um, both inputs are on. Um, since both of these are on, there is um, one. Oh, sorry, this is on, since the inputs are the same. This is on, because it's an XNR, remember? Um, so that's on and also this is then um, coming through here but being stopped by this block so yes there we go that's that so now these three are off and now I need to explain why this is on as you can see none of the eights are being powered the, this one here and this one here are the eights so yeah these two are eights but are, neither of them are on so how is the eight being powered well that is all to do with the carry line again. Now I could use fancy words like generate and propagate. I have used generate a few times but propagate might be a bit fancy. So yeah, um, let's just stick with simple words. <laughs> um, so yeah, we have our carry being generated here but since there's these are letting the carry through like they should do, this then comes all the way down here and then turns this off. So this is now off, but it also turns on, it also goes up here and turns on that repeater. That repeater then powers the piston and generates the 8. And since this is also being powered by the output of the first XNOR, the first half adder, this all is extended. And the reason why that's being powered by the first XNOR is because the two 8 inputs are off, so they're the same, and that means that this is coming through. So that's basically, well not basically, that is how this adder works. I've said how um, one comes through, what happens if one add one comes through, so there's a carry generated, and I also have explained what happens if the carry is then is generated and then propagated through the adders, which is a fancy word, so I pass down the carry line into the correct output. So yeah, this is the first component of the ALU, which is itself the first component of the computer. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please stick around for the next video, which will we be, which, where, so where we will be starting our general purpose registers. Uh, no, sorry, no, we will not. Never mind that. We will be finishing off the ALU by adding the necessary functions to do or, which will then be able to do and or adding and from that you can do like XR, XNOR and we'll also add a shifter 
So we can do shifting, which allows us to divide by 2 or multiply by 2. And we'll add inverters to the inputs, which allows us to do subtraction. So basically, this will be able to do subtraction, addition, divide by 2, multiply by 2, and all of the logic gates. Woo, quite fancy. Woo, bit of lag going on there. So yeah, thanks for watching. Please stick around for the next video.